how do you bring collective voices and collaboratives around uh, topics of social emotional learning, around uh, leveraging community, leveraging and bringing schools and communities together. Uh, that truly fascinated me has been the whole idea of collaboration among organizations and individuals across spectrum. There are grassroots organizations doing some amazing work with large size organizations who have a great potential in designing solutions. So all of them coming together is a, is a beautiful experience. That you know SEL is not only working with children but you know working with this entire ecosystem as well and how do you work with this entire ecosystem uh, to make them and experience SEL and then maybe bring it into the public education system. And it's really inspiring to see so many organizations, I think more than 25, coming together. But we look at the entire system which includes all of us, the community, the whole, full education system and how we achieve. How do you bring in lens of equity and inclusion uh, and gender into this conversation and bring in children's context more deeply. I think that's where it triggered the discussions around uh, reimagining 2.0. I am very confident about how this mindset can be changed. Because without this mindset, it's very difficult to do this in the mainstream. In the pockets, mein bahut achha, uh, we've got lots of good all over the country, but also in Jharkhand and Sampurna 1.0 has got a lot of great uh, response and I'm sure all of you have in your classrooms etc. But if hand on my heart, I think all of you will agree, it's a long way to go. I think my motivation to come here and be a part of Sampoona 2.0 is that uh, we truly believe that every child needs to feel safe and uh, needs to feel that joy inside the classroom. And I was very intrigued uh, by the understanding that what this group was trying to do in terms of mainstreaming SEL in public education. You know, build joyful learning spaces uh, and how to you know, create a learning environment inside schools and in communities that are fearful. And it's really inspiring to see so many organizations I think more than 25 coming together and trying to co-create some idea which would lead to you know, the manifestation of this goal. Today's whole conversation, one of the key insights that came out was that how to do social emotional learning from which way the curriculum, the syllabus and the textbook is made by the regular. Moving forward, I would like to see how we can contribute to this wonderful initiative in terms of bringing SEL to the communities and actually having them involved as well. So I look forward to this amazing journey and learning more.